Hello everybody, it's time to do another draw along. So grab a pen, pencil, some colours, a piece of paper and come along and draw with me. Let's go. Hello everybody, we are doing another draw along today and we are going to be drawing another member of staff. So um, draw along with me. I'm not going to tell you who it is until the end. Let's see if we can work out who this is. Let's go. Right. Um, as with all of our people that we've drawn so far, we're going to start with the head, so it's a circle. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, circles can be pretty hard to do. But something like that. There we go. So that's our starting point. And as ever, um, what we'll do next is we'll do the nose. So it's a straight line down, remember? And then at the bottom, it's like a backwards C shape, just like that. Right, we're going to draw an eye. Now, if you haven't seen these before, the way we draw our eye, the first eye we draw is here, and we start um, here on the C shape of the nose. And it, we have to imagine that it's going behind the nose, so we don't draw a line over the top. We start a line here, so like this, and then we can you can either go all the way around that way, or what I like to do is I imagine that line's carrying on, and from the other side, I will draw the rest of the eye like that. Okay. And then on the other side of the face, we do exactly the same. Like that. Okay. Now I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit. It's a bit messy. Um, and then we're going to draw some pupils. In the middle, circle. Colour it in and try and get around the same size on the other side. Like that. Not too bad. Right, now this person in school is always smiley and happy and they like to talk and I know they won't mind me saying that. So I'm going to have an open mouth today so we're going to draw our normal smile line and then we're going to come down and join it up the other side just like that and we'll just put a few teeth in now you can do your teeth in in a couple of different ways you could draw a line that follows along which is what i might do now you could draw a line that follows along and then put some lines in or you could have done individual teeth, but it's, it's up to you, so like this. Just like that. Now, I'm going to draw some ears on. Either side. And for the ears, you can do any sort of shape really, but I like to do a bit of a swirly shape. Now, we're going to move on to the top. So I, I try and get it in line with the pupil of the eye. And that's where I start. And it's a long line and it's going to be diagonal. It's about there today. Now, what you might notice if you've done the other ones is that this body shape seems to be a bit longer than before. And that's because this is actually going to be a dress. Okay, it's not a t-shirt today, it's a dress. And what we are going to do next is we're going to get our legs in. So again, we're not doing it right at the edge. We're going in a little bit from the edge and then coming down and across really basic rectangle shape. OK, 
okay and we do the same the other side and up and we have two rectangle shapes and those are going to be our legs and if we've got our legs there we might as well draw our feet on now our feet are going to be slightly different because I'm going to draw this person wearing heels so I'm actually going to start at the back of the foot so we're going to come down across and up okay just like that okay and then from there we are going to go we're going to kind of do a diagonal line almost like a curve down a little bit across and then up like that and we're going to do the same the other side so down across and we're going up and then down and round and up to the top like this then we're going to do some arms now I'm going to have both arms up for this person. There are both arms up kind of person. So from where the, we've joined the body and the head, we are going to draw a straight line out. And another straight line out. And we're going to just cross that off there. And we're going to do the same over the other side. go looking good so far um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some details so I'm going to draw this shape here because they're going to be holding something I wonder if you'll be able to tell who it is from what they're holding Looks like a spoon, doesn't it? But it's not a spoon. Hopefully, you'll see what it is very soon. And then we'll do the same shape this side. Round, down, and round. It's a bit misshapen, but that doesn't matter too much. Okay. Then we're going to draw the hand. So for the hand, I'm going to draw the fingers on because the finger's going to be gripping this object. I'm going to just draw the back of the hand there and we'll do the same this side. So we draw the fingers on and then we kind of draw the hand that will be there. There we go. And I wonder if anybody knows what this is. If I were to tell you that it's a musical instrument that might help you. And if I were to tell you that it's something that you shake to show it shaking, we can do these motion lines like this. That shows us it's shaking. Okay. Right. I'm going to take a pause there and I'm going to, well, I'm not going to take a pause. I'm going to speed this up because I'm going to add some details just to see if you can work out who you think this might be because we're not finished just yet, obviously. So I'm going to speed this bit up. Then I'll come back and we'll have a bit of a chat about what is happening next. Okay, let's go. Okay, you can see that I've added some extra detail. So that with the dress, I've added a bit of a neckline in. In fact, I might do an extra line there to show that it's the neckline, not just one of the circles. Now, I've never seen this person in a, 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 a dress with circles on, but that seems to be my style, so I thought I'd go for it. If you haven't worked out what these things are, these are maracas. Maybe that gives you a clue as to who it is. And you can see here, I've got this person up here saying, Hola, um, which is Spanish for hello. And I don't know if you know anybody who knows a bit of Spanish and you might be able to guess who it is, but I'm going to now add some more details and add some colours 
so you can maybe get to know this person a little bit more. So I'm going to colour in, so I'm going to speed up. You take as long as you need to, you don't have to draw at the speed I am, I'm speeding up on the, on the video, so I'm not actually colouring at that speed. Um, and then we'll see who it is at the end. Let's go. And there we go, we have our member of staff. Now I wonder how many of you can work out who it is. I'm just gonna go over these lines a little bit. And I hope that if you haven't guessed it yet, that when I say it, you'll say, oh yeah. So this week we have drawn Mrs. Mitchell. There we go. Now, Mrs. Mitchell has been lovely to me since I started at Fry's and she's really helped me. She's been lovely being able to draw her. I hope she's not offended. <laughs> um, but what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple more bits. We're going to add some shadow or some ground. We haven't done grass for a while, so I'm going to do some grass. I can't think of a time when I've seen Mrs. Mitchell shaking some maracas on some grass, but um, we haven't done it for a while, so I thought we'd have a go. So. If you've got a couple of different types of green, then that might be good. But if not, it doesn't matter. Um, so we're drawing our grass. And this is obviously what our character is standing on. Our teacher, Mrs. Mitchell, is standing on. And with our grass, it's really nice if you can kind of just add some blades of grass. Just a few. Um, and then you do the same again, I just kind of go over it again and making sure that I get to see some of the other colours and then just gives it a little bit more of a depth of colour. Lots of different types of green. Slightly darker one here. Finished. Let's go out the last bit. I like this green, it's almost a yellowy kind of green, and it really does complement the other grass. There we are. So we have our grass, we've got Mrs. Mitchell, we've got some maracas, we've got some Spanish. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I am going to just quickly sign because I'm going to give that to Mrs. Mitchell when I see her next. Um, and I hope you've all enjoyed drawing along. Um, if this is the first one you've done, then maybe take a look at some of the older um, newsletters and see if you want to have a go at those. Um, that would be fantastic. Um, I hope you're doing really well. Keep him positive and I hope to see you all soon. Okay, let's say goodbye now um, and let's take care. Bye.